Fluorescent lights are one of the uh, most energy efficient and coolest uh, sources of light you can put in your barn. Unlike the other light sources we've looked at, fluorescents don't heat a filament so they don't get hot. The inside of the glass tube is coated with phosphors. These are chemicals that glow when they're exposed to ultraviolet radiation. Now it's interesting how uh, fluorescents produce, actually produce the light. What happens is electricity flows between the two electrodes in the lamp, which excites the mercury gas inside the tube. And you know mercury gas, it gets excited and it gives off all kinds of ultraviolet radiation. And this radiation strikes the phosphor coating on the inside of the tube, causing it to glow. And that's how we get the light. A 40 watt fluorescent bulb puts out twice the light of a 95 watt incandescent bulb, it uses less than half the electricity, and lasts more than 10 times as long. Fluorescent lamps will last uh, longest if they're left on for long periods without being turned on and off uh, a lot of times. The color of fluorescent light can vary significantly. Some lights make your horse's gums look white instead of pink. The heart of a fluorescent fixture is the ballast, which determines how quickly the light comes on and how well it operates in cold temperatures. Inexpensive ballast, like the kind you're going to find in your local building stores, generally don't work very well below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll flicker, they'll come on dim, or they won't even come on at all if it gets very cold. And some of these fixtures won't, or ballast, won't last more than two years. Now you can get better quality fluorescent light fixtures with really good ballast that will make the lights come on right away and work down to 20 degrees below Fahrenheit. But you're not likely to find these higher quality and more expensive fluorescent fixtures in your local building store. You're probably going to have to look at a lighting wholesaler or order them from a uh, specialty lighting retail store. There is a relatively new type of fluorescent bulb on the market called a CFL, or compact fluorescent light bulb. You've likely seen these in stores. They have an Edison base which will fit most standard light sockets so that you can use CFLs to replace incandescent bulbs. And they only use a quarter of the electricity to produce the same amount of light as a standard light bulb. But they do cost about eight times as much. But on the other hand, they last 10 times longer. And although they don't produce as much heat as a regular bulb, they still when used in a barn application, should be protected by a jelly jar or by some other means to prevent breakage and to keep the bulb clean.